Whoa! Okay, so we literally have just got to this place. Whoa! Hi! Sorry, Tony. <laughs> I'm sad. I'm so upset. Okay, so I literally just got to the Ulla Henriksen new launch for Utopia. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog, Richard. Hey, peeps. What's up? It is another week of the vlog of the vlog yeah, it is and i actually feel like this week is gonna be amazing literally i have so much packed into this week so i feel like this vlog is gonna be a good one it's gonna be a juicy one there's a lot happening behind the scenes which is amazing but today i have my first press trip since COVID. So we are going for an overnight stay with Isla and I cannot wait. Apparently there's going to be other influences there and it's going to be a sleepover. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do yet. We haven't received an itinerary but apparently there's um, a pool there and we're also going to get a massage um, tomorrow, the next day. But today I think it's like a dinner. So I'm so, so, so excited. I'm literally just packing my bag right now, getting ready for this. So yeah, we have this press trip. Then we have another event, which again, I don't really know much about, but it should be really, really cool. And then I'm also going to be doing some fun stuff later on in the end of the week, just catching up with some friends. We have a few little, like, pampering moments as well. So yeah, everything, including the weekend, is like really busy right now, which I'm just so, so excited about. And I feel like it's gonna be a really good week. Plus, you know, I have been working so hard. Whoa, okay, so we literally have just got to this place, guys. This place is stunning. I was like so shook. It was a little bit of a long drive here, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of near Ascot, I think, but the drive was so long. I literally just caught up with my friends who were all like in the main house kind of thing. But yeah, I've literally just checked into my room. And of course, in true Danny style, we are gonna do a super cute little room tour. So let me show you. So I'm not sure if you guys can see, but these are actually all stables. So we are staying in a converted stable, which is now, I don't know if you can see, can you see? where horses used to be but now it's hotel rooms so as you come in you have a little mirror hi <laughs> and then it is the bedroom the rooms are absolutely stunning you have a tv and a desk area on the left hand side which is super cute oh look at these umbrellas though okay um a really really nice little moment here and then behind us i haven't actually checked this but there is the mini bar and wow she booed you go what's in here i always love going through like the mini bars and was like okay what is in the mini bar let's have a look <gasps> oh that kit kat chunky mm -hmm. yeah and right next door you literally just have all of the cupboards and if i turn around you have this kind of like little seating area with like the sofa table and the bed i wish i had someone to share this moment with i'm just gonna be here by myself and then isla have also treated us to some really cute little goodies so we have some slippers we have some tequila rosé strawberry. Guys, if you have not tried this, you really need to try it because it's actually a really good shot. I don't know if you remember, but we did drink this when we were in Dubai all together. It was just such a moment. Then we also have some Aesop. Oh my god, I love Aesop. This is a little hand wash. Oh my god, you know already how much I love Aesop. I have it all over my house. There is a bag full of goodies. I will maybe go through that a little bit later. And then the best bit is going to be the bathroom. This is the bathroom! Oh my god, what? What? Who? Who? Look at this bathroom. <gasps> oh my gosh. For me, the bathroom is everything. The bathroom is make or break. Actually, the lighting is quite cute here. <gasps> this might have to be the one. This might have to be right here shot later on. But yeah, we have a his and hers, or his and his, or hers and hers sink. We have a huge... Is this copper? Copper bath um, with some horseshoes on the wall. We also have this walk-in shower, which is insane. Wow, can you hear the echo? It is a waterfall shower. And then in the other side 
is the, oh, I don't know if that's in or out, is the bathroom. You know what it is. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna settle into my room and then I'm gonna grab a buggy again to go back to the main house and catch up with all my friends. I think Twee and Gary have got massages now. So I'll go and hang out with everyone else. But yeah, I'm just so excited to be here. Oh, well, I'm just in the room. I guess who's here? Hey, hey, I guess what we're watching, guys? We're watching the football. We are watching the football. I feel like I've been watching the football every single day this week, but today, Germany and England are playing. So we are literally just having snacks and we're just chilling out. Guys, we have special guests. Look who just arrived. Say hi. Oh, look at this. Fresh from the spa. Got in a button. Oh, no. Oh, it's my Oh, Hello, how's your massage? It was amazing. Okay, this is the outfit ready. So now, Gary, what room number are you in? <laughs> Gary, tell me. Oh, we know where the after party's oh at. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. This is just our hair. Look how beautiful it is. Oh, I'm looking for the ducks. This is where the ducks were. This is where they were. They were quite Guys, I have literally glued my hair to my lash. Look at this. No. So we're just having some bread with butter. Oh. <laughs> you want your bread butter? Butter is really good for you. Oh. I'm going to LA. my god, we're literally just back in the room now and it was such a nice evening. Honestly, the dinner was so, so cute. And then we all just came back here, had a little catch up, which was just so, so nice. But I'm going to get into this comfy bed right now. I can't wait. I'm going to wash my makeup off. I look so <laughs> greasy, <laughs> but it's all good. I'm trying to, you know, when you're trying to find like the glowy skin look, but at the same time, you've got combination to oily skin, so you're like, oh, okay. So anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. Good morning, everyone. It is a new day. Your boy is a little bit tired. I'm not gonna lie. Had a shower. I literally just ordered us a little buggy, which is gonna take us to breakfast. Yeah, I'm excited for that. And then I have a massage straight after, which I'm so, so excited for, guys. I'm so excited. How beautiful is this place, guys? So we are literally gonna go. First stop is picking up Mr. Gary Tarson. AKA uh, the plastic boy. Hello, pick first pick up. Welcome aboard. Come along, darling. We're going to Magic Kingdom today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, but mother con green. Oh, hello. Oh, mom and dad. She literally did a workout. This is dedication. I applaud you. You're amazing. Guys, just literally finished my massage and it was amazing. Oh, I was tense, girl. The knots were real. So I'm back in my room now. I've literally just packed. All my friends have left. I'm sad. I'm sad to go. I had the best time. I just want to say thank you to Isla and the Isla team for having me and this amazing opportunity. And just like, oh, honestly, guys, I feel so blessed to be here. This is the reality. I am so shattered. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I've literally just made myself some RNS meals. Actually, let me show you. This is a really good one. Okay, so as you know, I love supporting smaller businesses and small companies, but this is from a brand called RNS Mills. You've already seen it on my channel before. I have got a discount code, which I think is Danny DeFreitas20, so I'll pop that on the screen. But we are in talks of maybe getting you guys a little bit more discount on your first order because they are good. Uh, this is the Turkey bolognese with spaghetti and some broccoli. So I'm literally just chatting to Twee. When I tell you I'm tired, I am beyond tired. The laptop is here because I've just uploaded this week's YouTube video. And since I got back, I just haven't stopped. Like I've just been working, working, working. I'm a little bit behind. This is what happens when you go on an event or do anything. Like for me guys, I'm just a very like hands on kind of person. Like I love to just be like in work mode all the time. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do some more emails, reply to everyone's comments, and then I think I'm just gonna have an early-ish night. Guys, it is time. We are watching Too Hot to Handle on Netflix. 
Let me know if you guys are watching this. This is episode four, I think. Maybe three or four. Guys, I am so upset right now. Oh, basically, we have this amazing tree that's followed us from our previous apartment. And we basically put it in a different location. And suddenly we noticed that it lost its, like, greenness. I don't know if you can see, but it's less green now. It's kind of a really weird faded green. And all the leaves started, like curling like this so i was like okay i checked the soil and the soil has been wet for such a long time so i was getting worried that like why is it so wet so i thought let me dry it out let me put it by the window for a little bit and literally as i took it out of the pot these two stems literally just came apart i know i literally look crazy right now but i'm so upset this plant literally it's just we got it when it was such a little baby and we used to have it on our like coffee table in our previous home and it was just our little moment we, we had to move it from that position because it got so tall that we couldn't watch tv <coughs> guys it's one of those days i literally just did a COVID test so we are testing obviously you guys know that events and stuff are happening i've been tested so many times like since the whole testing thing was the thing and i feel like it's just test after test after test I have some tests at home, so I'm always making sure that I'm safe, my team is safe, my friends are safe, my family's safe, anyone that I come in contact with. So I'm literally just reading the instructions and just waiting. You have to wait a full 30 minutes, but so far it's looking negative. But anyway, I'm going to get ready. I'm going to jump in the shower. We're going to reset the day. I'm going to take you with me. We've got this fun event. It's all going to be good. Okay, so I literally just got to the Ulla Henriksen new launch for Utopia. I guess who's here? Here. Hey girl! <laughs> <laughs> you saw him? Was it yesterday? Was it yesterday? I thought it was, was it yesterday was morning. Was it two days ago? No, don't give me yesterday. It's all a blur, guys. It's all a blur. <laughs> you <boy. laughs> It's yeah, Gary's like, yay! My gorgeous girl Nina. She's having a fish. She looks relaxed. She looks relaxed, I can tell. Okay guys, so we literally are just, how cute is this place by the way, how cute? I just had a facial with the Ulla Henriksen and oh my god, it's so good. My skin, I feel like that was like not a normal facial, it was like a workout for your face, so it was absolutely amazing. And then behind me you had your aura red, so I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that when I get home. And then there is a new launch, which I'll tell you a little bit more about as well, but this place is just so zen, it's so nice, it's just so nice to be out and about and back at events, so I'll catch you up a little bit later. Hey guys, so literally I just got home. I think my neighbors are looking at me. <laughs> I think my neighbors must think I'm crazy, guys, because if you are not new here, you know me. If you know me personally as well, you know I'm always doing the most. I'm always just doing something. But anyway, I'm back home now from the Ulla Henriksen event, and it was so cute. I still can't believe that, like, things are slowly coming up like open so anyway i just posted a few stories about the event but the whole idea is a launch for the new jutopia so this is a brand new product it is a 20 percent acid and it basically has ahas and phas i'm getting my ahas ha's confused and it is basically a lemon enzyme now i have had a little look online it's part of their transform range and also it's kind of replaces your retinol so it's more of a transformative renewing fresh skin kind of product but yeah i'm gonna try this out and actually get back to you and let you know because i can't really say much about it especially when it's a product that i need to try at night time i want to see how my skin reacts to it how it looks how my how i wake up with it so i'm definitely going to try this out I also wanted to tell you at the event they had this lady there was two ladies who basically would read your aura and one of them was for a photo which i have here and one of them was um she could read auras auras with the naked eye and i've, I've always, always wanted, wanted to do this guys i am such a true believer let me show you the photo of what i look like sorry i feel like i'm waffling on today but this is my photo when she actually took the photo it looked quite different i think the polaroid like didn't really capture it like the computer did, but I have mainly a lot of orange and I also have a 
yellow and red so she was like i see a lot of red a lot of orange and a lot of yellow and it's completely surrounding you and basically it's just a little time stamp of like how i'm feeling at the moment so she went on to kind of like talk about it and i just found this so interesting i really want to do more stuff like this good morning everyone it is a brand new day and it's actually such a nice sunny day today when i woke up it was literally so so great and now the sun has come out so i'm in a good mood I'm literally dressed, ready. I'm not going to wear any makeup because I have a massage uh, later on with Elemis. So say hi to the vlog, Richard. Hey, vlog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're literally just having some breakfast. What did you get, babe? Took us for it. Smashed avocado. Yeah. On an English muffin. Cute. Let's not be paying the same price as yours. Uh, and a fruit cup of strawberries and bananas. So cute. With an iced coffee. Oh my god, I love. Guys, we're in central London. Alright. <laughs> so yep. it's such a nice day today. No, no, thank so you. cute. Let's walk in so the we're shade. literally in central London now. I'm going to go and have my massage at House of Elemis. Honestly, guys, it's like one of my favorite places to have a massage. Oh, if change. you are ever in central London, like, and you ever want to treat yourself, it's just a most amazing thing. They also have on the top floor, this room where two people can have a massage at the same time. Like you're like, kind of like next to each other. So this is where we're going today, guys. This is the House of Elemis. <laughs> yes, let's do this. Okay, guys, so we're literally just at the penthouse room. This is the room that I was telling you about. So I just really want to show it to you before I get changed and before I have my massage. So I'm gonna show it. This room is absolutely stunning. So this is one of the areas and it is so beautiful here. You can have facials, you can have massages. There's also this machine here which scans your face. And then these are the beds. The beds are absolutely amazing. And then if I turn around, there's this beautiful skylight and it's kind of like lounge area. So like if you have a special occasion, you wanna come here, I'm sure the team will look after you hello and give you champagne and snacks and whatever you want to bring i'm sure and then here's the other room as well so what's really cool is that you can both have a massage at the same time but you're also a little bit private so yeah this is the room how cool is this hey guys so i literally just finished my massage oh my god that was amazing i had someone called ellie i've had her before she's done a facial for me and she is insane i really love <laughs> look at these socks guys Hello. Oh my god, it's so sunny today. It's so sunny. But yeah, guys, I literally grabbed the swim shorts. I was like, I've wanted these shorts for the longest time. And I was like, girl, what am I waiting for? Hey guys, so I've got something to tell you. And it's um, it's a little bit scary, but... Guess who's in the house? Why do you look so sad? You should be happy to see me. <laughs> I'm so happy! Oh, we're reunited again, guys. Oh. Danny's giving me his skincare. So like, what we're doing today is a little bit of a cleanse off. Yeah. <laughs> As soon as I got here, I was like, can I have some makeup wise? I want to take everything off. It's such a nice day outside. <laughs> We're gonna go to the cinema. We're gonna go to the cinema. We're gonna watch this film called Quiet Place 2. And we watched the first one together and we actually love this it film, innit? It was so it? good. It wasn't what we thought it was last no. time. No, it was really good. So if you're yeah. gonna watch it, go and watch number one first, I think. Yeah. And then, yeah, Gary's on his way here. So yeah. is Quang. Guys, we're having a party in the lift. Oh my lift. god, look, look, look. I have no shoes on because these gave me blisters. Party in the lift. Yeah, party so we're gonna go and watch lift. The Quiet Place. I'm we so need so to go to a movie at 7.20 and it's 7.10 <laughs> and we haven't left. <laughs> Guys, this is how crazy London is <laughs> that people can have dinner in the sky. I would love like, that. tell me what other city is there yeah. craziness like this? Yeah, so, we're this at this place called the O2, to. and this was built in 20, 2000. Like, it's built in the 2000s. Oh my god, how cute. Twee's just met a follower. This is so cute, guys. This always makes our day. We love it. Twee, how cute was that? Um, guys, I just Oh, she was so, so sweet. sweet. Yeah, we got in the wrong way. Like, had a little photo together. It was so, oh, honestly, guys, that always makes our day. It really does. And her mum was there, and her sister was. Oh, her picture's yeah. sister, her friend. She was. It was so pretty as well. I know. Oh, Look at this entrance. It's so cool. Right, guys. So. It was quite quick. I'm not sure if we missed it because we were trying to get snacks. It was quite quick, and I feel guys, like. Guys, it was so quick. I feel like it, it ended before we even got to see what was going. There wasn't that much action. There yeah, wasn't that much we missed action. a lot, baby. I think. So what score would you give it out of 10? Um, I'd be a, um, a 6. For what yeah. I watched, it was like a 6. The no, first one's so much better. Yeah, I think a 6 for me as well, guys. Oh. Hey guys, so I look a bit crazy, I look a bit messy. But yeah, I just finished doing a workout and I had a protein shake. It is Sunday today. 
So I am having one of those like half work, half chill days. I've had such a good weekend, honestly. I feel like so, so good to like see my friends on the Friday. Yesterday I had a family day and it was just so nice, like just, just to kind of like switch it up and be doing something different to what I'm normally doing during the week. Like during the week, I'm just like work, 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 work. And then just to spend that Friday with my friends, Saturday with my family, it was just so nice. I just was talking to my boyfriend about the aura reading that I had this week with the Ulla Henriksen event kind of thing. I didn't really talk to you guys much about it, but I'm just kind of like thinking back and recapping, but she said that she basically saw like three different colors around my aura. There was two ladies, one of them could see it with her naked eye, and the other lady made you put your hand on this like metal, I think it's metal or magnetic thing. And then she takes a photo and then the colors appear on there. Um, she did give me a photo, but on her screen, the colors look so much more intense, which was really cool. Anyway, if you are into astrology or energies or chakras or anything like that, I think you would love to have your aura read. It was the first time I ever done it. And I don't know, it's kind of like unlocked this new thing that I would really like to like look into a little bit more. I was just really fascinated with it, but I really wanted to tell you the kind of things that she like she said about me. So she basically said that I have a lot of creative energy. She also said that I'm someone who always is like thinking of new ideas and giving birth to new ideas all the time. Another thing she said was that I am too much of a giving person. Like I always give, 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 give to the point where sometimes I might burn out and burn out of energy and stuff. And she said that I need to learn how to say no. Oh my God, it's so hard. Um, so she said for every five opportunities that I will get, I need to say no to two of them so that I have less on my plate and so that I can you know, really nourish the things that I'm doing so I don't feel overwhelmed, so I'm like good. She also mentioned that I need to take more time for just myself and like just, just you know, like a little bit more self-love, which, you know, I've been on this whole self-love journey in the last year and I've been finding ways to kind of like just do things for me. And honestly, guys, I have been feeling good about it. Really, really good. I think in the past, I've always felt a little bit more like, I don't wanna be selfish, so I would always put other people first. Like, if it was something that I need to do, I'd be like, oh no, 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 like, oh, I'm not gonna treat myself all the time, or I'm not gonna give myself that time, or I put other people in front of me or above me and stuff like that. So putting me first has been just a really, like, different way of thinking and just trying to not, not to think that if I put myself first, I'm a selfish person. That's totally not the case. You can put yourself first and also like recharge your energy so that when you are with your friends or your family, you can give them so much more. I'm also feeling like recently, I, I don't know, like there's just things happening in my life and I'm thinking about maybe going to see a psychic reading again. It's been such a long time since I went to one. And if I'm really honest, the last couple of ones that I went to were like just not that good. Not that they said anything negative, but they were just not that great. So I really want to go to someone amazing. I don't know who yet. So I'm going to be looking into that. But yeah, I feel like I'm ready. I want to start manifesting again. I want to start like being in that seat, in the driver's seat and like manifesting, going places, like going headstrong into the direction I want to go in and reignite a lot of things that I kind of put on hold because of the whole COVID situation. So yeah, I'm feeling really good, feeling really positive. I thought I'd come over here. <laughs> yeah, one of the things that I really wanna work on right now, which obviously you probably know already, is my fitness. So I have been going to the gym so much more. I'm not really doing this to completely transform my body. I'm not trying to be unrealistic with my results. I've been, like, I know my body, and I think it's just about, like, eating more healthy, looking after myself, working out, which just really helps me with my mental health and making me look good, feel good, think good, clarity. And I've just been really enjoying it. So I am gonna be taking that little bit more time for myself for working out. And this is not gonna become a fitness channel, but 
I hope that you understand that by me looking after myself with skincare and massages, holistic treatments, beauty treatments, all of those things, it's natural that I might also incorporate foods which might improve your skin, your energy, and also your body as well. So if there's anything body-wise that I think makes your body look good, makes your skin look good on your body, if there's any like body wash, body scrubs, anything like that, I would definitely share that with you guys. But yeah, I will go and chill now. I just thought I'd let you know, you know, a little chat with you guys. Guys, I don't know if I'm crazy, but I have just booked a holiday. <laughs> I'm literally shaking right now. I feel like last time I went away was Dubai and it was very, very, very last minute. Literally, I'm not sure if you remember. Oh my God, my heart. But I literally booked it with the gang like two days before we went and I've literally just booked to go away <laughs> I'm going I'm going on Monday like I'm literally going like in a few days time this is very last minute this is very spontaneous but I just thought you know what I don't know like it's just the, I have been like I think yes like yesterday's breakdown was just like a little lesson and I was just like you know what I'm gonna do this I'm gonna go away it's very spontaneous I need to like get everything together. I need to fake tan. I need to do my hair. I need to do my nails. I need to do everything. But hey, we're just gonna do what we can. I haven't really got even like clothes for this trip, but I might just have to pop to Zara again and get some more bits. But yeah, I'm basically going on holiday. I'm so, so excited. Of course, I'm gonna take you with me. I'm gonna vlog the whole thing. And I want you to guess where I'm going. Any guesses, write it down below in the comments. Can you guess where I am going? I think you can guess. Maybe, I don't know. But yeah, I'm so, so excited. This is very random, but yeah. Mm, see you next week's vlog, guys. I love you. Bye.